in the fading chapters of the dinosaur age, just before the sky darkened and the world changed forever. A giant herbivore roamed the floodplains of what is now North America, moved in herds, slow but steady, grazing on ferns and palms, its heavy footsteps echoing through the ancient forests. But it was no helpless grazer. It was built for defense, forged by evolution to face the deadliest predators of its time. This was Triceratops horridus, the three-horned titan of the late Cretaceous. Triceratops lived around 68 to 66 million years ago, sharing its world with Tyrannosaurus rex, not just its most dangerous enemy, but its evolutionary match. Up to nine meters long and weighing over 12 tons, Triceratops was a walking fortress. Its massive skull, among the largest of any land animal in history, stretched nearly three meters long. Two long, curved brow horns swept forward like spears, while a shorter nasal horn jutted from its beak-like snout. Behind its head rose an enormous frill, a bony shield protecting its neck and anchoring powerful jaw muscles. The frill may have also served another purpose, display. Brightly colored in life, it could have signaled dominance, attracted mates, or warned rivals. Each frill was unique, like a fingerprint, and perhaps no two Triceratops looked exactly alike. Its beak was sharp and hooked, ideal for cropping low-lying vegetation. Fed on cycads, ferns, and flowering plants, chewing tough stems with rows of self-sharpening teeth. These teeth, arranged in stacks called dental batteries, wore down with use and were replaced continuously. Even as a plantator, Triceratops had one of the most formidable mouths in the animal kingdom. But it's the tension between predator and prey that made Triceratops legendary. Fossils have been found bearing tooth marks from T-Rex, and some even show signs of healing, evidence of survivors. In one dramatic case, a Triceratops brow horn was found embedded with a T-Rex tooth. It didn't just get attacked, it fought back. These were not mindless grazers. Their forward-facing eyes gave them wide peripheral vision, and their brains, though modest in size, likely supported complex behavior. Herding instincts, parental care, and defense coordination are all possibilities. A group of Triceratops defending their young would have been a fearsome wall of horns and bellowing defiance. Juvenile fossils show that the horns and frill developed over time, changing shape as they aged. This may have helped young Triceratops avoid confrontation or signal their age and status within the group. And like birds and reptiles today, they may have communicated with body movements, horn gestures, or even vocalizations through resonating chambers in their skulls. The environment Triceratops inhabited was warm and seasonal with rivers, forests, and open plains. It was among the last dinosaurs to walk the Earth before the asteroid impact that marked the end of the Cretaceous. It was gone, but it left behind a fossil record so rich that Triceratops is now one of the most studied dinosaurs in history. Its skeletons have been found from Montana to Colorado in sizes ranging from hatchlings to full-grown adults. Each one adds a page to its story of survival, adaptation, and silent strength. So the next time you picture a dinosaur, don't just think of roaring predators. Think of Triceratops.com, armored and unshakable. A creature that didn't chase, but stood its ground. Like and subscribe to stay up to date with more interesting facts about dinosaurs.